Welcome to eBay Road Trip. Today we'll be travelling to the quiet village of Bembridge, where each player will be given £10 to spend at a local charity shop and then see how much they can sell the items they've bought on eBay. Let's meet the contestants. This is Alan. He does nothing. His favourite thing is... Food. Thanks, Alan. Next up, it's Marek. He makes a living pretending to be people with something wrong with them. His favourite thing is... Milk. On their road trip, they'll be travelling all the way from here to here. Let's go. This is my favourite bit. Let's have a listen to what the contestants had to say to each other. Today they'll be going to the Earl of Mountbatten Hospice Shop, where last year they had six copies of Fifty Shades of Grey on sale. Marek likes the look of the crockery, whereas Alan is eyeing up the ladies' handbags. Time's almost up. Let's see what these handsome gentlemen have bought. Well, what I've got today, today, I bought some real bargains. I've got a really bright, summery little clutch bag to use on the beach or whatever. I think that will sell very nicely. How much was that? That cost me two pounds. So I think that might fetch a fiver. That's very good. I bought a nice Artigiano dress. How long have you been buying women's dresses? Well, because my Mother-in-law buys Artigiano and she spends quite a lot of money on her Artigiano dresses, so I know that they're worth quite a lot of money. Oh, Artigiano, you in a minute. <laughs> so, I think that will do very well. I spent £7.50 on that. Uh, hopefully I'll get uh, double my money on that one with a bit of luck. And just to use up the little bit of cash I had left, I bought this little whiskey shot glass for 50p. No, oh, well, well done, Dad. Let's have a look at what I bought. First of all, for £2.50, I bought this home um, knitted bag for sort of tr traveller sort of people who go to festivals. The sort of people who wear bright clothes who are mentally ill, it's got buttons on the inside so if you like buttons but you've only got a few of them, you could keep your buttons in there so it looks like there's more. And next I bought these beautiful candle holders made from glass. It's a set of three so that which should triple the value. They're one pound each, but I hope to get somewhere in the region of 1,000 pounds. And next I bought this Carlton Ware cup and saucer. I imagine this is the sort of thing that someone would drink up just, just before they're going to kill themselves. It was 50 pence. I hope to get 1,000 uh, pounds. Then I bought this. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. A dolphin with a ball on its head made out of wood. So hopefully some weirdo will buy that for the, for the child or um, someone, be nice for someone in hospital. And then with my last two pounds, I bought this. It's absolutely disgusting ceramic leaf of some of the worst colours I've seen. It was two pounds. It could fetch up to two pounds. But what did they think of each other's buys? Well, they were a little bit tatty, I thought. I quite liked the um, candlesticks. They were quite a nice colour and looked quite attractive in a room. Somebody might like the bag. He's got a quirky taste. Uh, and the other things were a bit oddball, but you never know what people like and what people don't like. So let's wait and see. I thought the bag was disgusting. It belongs in the bin. Um, but the, I was a little bit worried about how he knows so much about women's dresses. All that's left to do is take photos of the items and put them on eBay as a starter price of one pence, plus post and packaging. You can find out how our contestants did in part two, coming soon. Click on the link if it's here, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.